Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure to check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Jada Pinkett Smith situation. So as you guys all know, she has the Red Table Talk on Facebook. And so, you know, I watch her show when I can. Sometimes I'm feeling it. Sometimes I feel like they just devolve too much information when it comes to their family. But now, but right now what's going on is that basically she did a show about, you know, white women and black women and how we need to get along. They also had Jane Elliott come on there who talks about, you know, racism. And she talks about, you know, how basically white and black people are just one and the same. The only difference is, you know, one being further away from the equator. And there's no race. There's just the human race. And it was a really interesting show. I really enjoyed how, you know, seeing these three different generation of women, Jada's mother, Jada, and then Willow, and how they look at, you know, white women and white people in general, and how Jada's mother wasn't allowed to go into, like, clothing stores to try on clothes and to try on hats. And then by the time Jada was growing up, she was still, you know, seeing a lot of racism and being talked down to and getting picked on by white women with blonde hair. And then to see Willow, she's almost oblivious to it because she's been raised in a totally different environment where she hasn't really had to struggle. And she's probably around more white people where they live in Los Angeles, okay? So they ended up bringing on one of the producers and she spoke about how, you know, black women tell her all the time that she has white privilege and she feels like you know i have no idea when that privilege kicks in i think it's kind of unfair that people are assuming because i'm white i have white privilege it was a really interesting show very interesting dialogue jada even said that she does not that she has like a prejudice towards white women with blonde hair meanwhile she's rocking blonde hair and so is her mother but that prejudice goes back to when she was a child and she was being picked on by little girls with blonde hair i have an issue because I feel like black women have been brainwashed into only accepting the European idea of, Standard of, of, beauty. of what beauty is. Yeah, the long straight hair. Long straight hair, right? Now, you know, we can't have anything to ourselves that we can call our own because they're got all tanning booze. Now they're trying to get brown. They're putting injections but in their lips. They're the putting injections in their behinds. And we we were ridiculed no, I know. for that for years. Yeah. One of the reasons why I have such a difficult time with the feminist movement, why I don't call myself a feminist and I call myself a womanist mm -hmm. instead, right. because of the history of, that of word. the feminist yeah. movement, how the feminist movement began and how the DNA still exists and how it's still focused on really middle-class white women. I don't understand the feeling of racism, but I don't know what to do about it. What I, do you mean you don't know about being black? Can you read? Yes, ma'am, I can fair. read. Then why aren't you? So what do you think we need to do? We need to stop believing in the myth of white superiority. In yeah. this country, education is actually indoctrination. We teach black history in the schools as if it started with slavery. I'm not a white woman, I'm a faded black person. My people move far from the equator, and that's the mm. only reason my skin is lighter. That's all any white person is. Because wow. we stick out your hand and say, hello, cousin. <laughs> hello, cousin. <laughs> hello, cousin. Yes. Hello, cousin. Yes. Hello, cousin. Yes. Hello, cousin. Yes. I have my own biases, I, I specifically with blonde women. Blonde hair on white women just triggers me, you know, and I've and had so to catch myself. And so did you myself. have a specific incident with someone who had blonde hair? Absolutely. All throughout my childhood. I do remember experiencing being teased by white women in regards to my hair, mm -hmm. how I looked, you and know, I can, I can, feeling I belittled. And I was, you know, going to, to do an interview with this blonde woman. I thought twice about it. I was like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah. That was my first instinct because of how she looked. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, ooh, ooh, that's no different. <laughs> that doesn't give me the right to clump all blonde, you know, blonde women in one. And, and look at me, I got blonde hair. <laughs> me too. <laughs> 
But just because I had that specific experience, trying to be friends or trying to reach out to women of color, sometimes I feel like they don't want to be my friend. Do you feel like that that is one of the, the, the gaps, is that we, we can't find that common ground to establish uh, familiarity? I or... think we don't go out of our way to just include each other. Mm -hmm. There's a lot between us that we don't understand. I think, yeah, we're always trying to figure out how mm -hmm. to get into something real and, and, you know, and authentic. And you know what? That's when I, interesting because <laughs> I'm never trying to figure that out. Oh, really? Never. Wow. Why? I'm just, I'm not, I'm not interested. Oh, now that mm -hmm. might be what you might be feeling. Exactly. That's probably what I do feel. <laughs> Sammy doesn't want to talk to me yeah, at the bowling alley, yeah. you know? Okay. <laughs> Women, our history well, and how we still are relating to each other. Even our black men have to a certain extent, not all, but a lot of our black men have rejected us. But that's, 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 something, that's, that's something else, I, I think. think. I think. But you don't think that, that affects how you feel about white women in general? Because I think it affects me. But I don't think that's white women's fault. Now, that, I'm going to be real about that. Yeah. Because well, that black man is deciding to be with that white true. woman. You, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? That's not on her. That's not on her. Just like if your man steps out on you and decides to have an affair, that that's ain't on, on her. her. That's on him. That's and true. that's one thing I won't do. I'm tired of putting the blame of men's behavior on, on women. And so I, yeah. don't, I do yeah. not believe in that. Okay, so if we'll he take decides that off the he table. wants to be with her, that's on him. So, I mean, I think we all have hangups when it comes to race. And, you know, in this world, we have to learn to try and get along with each other. You know, even if we don't like each other, there has to be a mutual respect right there between the races. Because if that mutual respect is not there, this is when you have all this chaos going on with people, you know, getting judged and getting, you know, harassed because of the color of their skin, because of how they look. You know, even black men out here getting killed. They also spoke briefly on interracial dating. And I like how Jada Pinkett said that, you know, if a black man chooses to date a white woman, that is on that black Black man I'm not going to sit here and blame the woman because of what a man chooses to do so I like how she was holding men accountable and not just blaming women like I said to me the show was very interesting I felt like it should have been longer and it definitely was very surface it wasn't as deep they didn't go into white supremacy they didn't go into you know back in the day where a lot of you know white slave owners wives they were just as complacent in abusing black slave women you know what I'm saying especially if they found out that their husbands were having affairs with these black slave women they would torture them they would beat them they would do all types of heinous acts to these women because their husbands were choosing to go down to the slave quarters and creep with these women you know we all saw that in 12 years of slave so I think some of this issue between white women and black women goes really deep and you cannot cover it in a 20 minute Facebook video but I am glad with what they did cover and I thought that they brought a lot of good stuff to the forefront and it was really interesting too to hear that producer's point of view as a white woman that sometimes yeah we do judge white women unfairly we say automatically you have privilege and does that count for every white woman because I know white girls who are struggling who are poor you know they may live in the trailer park or you know in low income housing and their privilege is nowhere to be found but sometimes we assume that they automatically have a privilege because they're white and that may not necessarily be the case for every white person or every white female so I think they hit on a lot of good topics but I want to just you know get the discussion popping here on my channel I know the comment section will pop we end up in shambles but I want everybody's opinions if you guys have not seen the show the link will be on my website you guys can go ahead and check it out it's a good show and it was really good to hear from you know Jane Elliott and get her perspective on things and you know do you feel like this whole race issue because at the end of the day like Jane Elliott said you know under all of this you know dark melanated goodness and under her white ivy milky skin we're the same people at the end of the day. We all have the same goals. We want to just be left alone. We want fairness. We want our children to do well in this world. We want our kids to be safe, to live in a world with a bunch of, you know, equal opportunities for them. So I think as black and white people, we want the same things. But unfortunately, we get so, you know, caught up in race and racial divide and, you know, things that we went through and childhood traumas that unfortunately it affects how we interact with each other as we grow into adulthood. So I just want to get this conversation popping. I want 
to know y'all's opinions on this red table talk. Were you guys feeling it? Are you guys not feeling it? Do you feel like it was too surface? Do you feel like they didn't go deep enough? And then how do you guys feel about the points that Jane Elliott made? Because she came in with guns blazing, honey, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you wanna know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.